Shalom everybody, welcome to Rega Be'ivrit. I'm so enjoy, much enjoying being with you every week and going through this. Please don't forget to hit share and like and uh, make sure that we are learning Hebrew and the uh, Holy Torah together. This week we are in Parashat Tetzaveh and I would like to talk to you a, mo a moment about chapter 28. And this week, if last week we started to talk about the preparation of the tabernacle that will take us all the way to the end of the book of Exodus. Part of the preparation of the tabernacle had to do with the preparation of the high priest. And the high priest, of course, the one that later on in the book of Leviticus called Kohen Mashiach is none other than Aaron the high priest. In order for Aaron to partake and lead Israel in the sacrifices and in his duty before God, he had to be dressed appropriately. And in order to do this, I want us to look at a very interesting quandrum in the Torah portion today, as it says the following. Uh, let's, let's pick it up in 28. Verse 1, he says, Now, the first thing I want us to pay attention here uh, in the Hebrew, in the text, it says that Aaron himself had to be put and come out from among the people. From me toch bnei Israel. This is something that is important. Is it used the word me toch? The word me toch is important because it's speaking about the fact that Aaron had to be part of the people. There is dependency of Aaron that Aaron has upon the children of Israel, just like the Messiah is dependent on Israel, and Israel is dependent at the Messiah. This is important. After all we're going to see something important about what Aaron have to wear. wear. It says, Ve'asita bigdei kodesh le'aron. This is important. Aaron have to wear a special garment. Big day, begged, which represent a type of a garment that was with him, but not regular, Kodesh, holy garments. The question is, where is the holiness coming to Aaron? How did he attain holy clothes? And here the Torah is revealing to us a shocking truth about this. It says the following. To glory, kavod, and tiferet, to glory and to splendor, those clothes are to be worn, and it says this. That's amazing. Aaron received holy garment from the people. Remember what I told you a moment ago, that the word mitoch means that Aaron is dependent upon the people. Just as the people depended upon Aaron, that Aaron is dependent upon the, the people here. And this is significant for us to understand this. It says that the people had to have few things. They are to have chachmei lev, which is important. Chacham is a person who have an understanding. He have some sort of anointing to him that is full in the spirit. He are full of the spirit. So number one, the people have to be full of the spirit. They have to be skillful. But then it's also used the word lev, which means that their heart had to be in the place. In essence, what the Torah is telling us, the people have to be gifted and they have to be anointed and the temptum. Chacham and lev are usually like this. Sometimes we think that a person who is chacham he does not have the lev and a person who has the heart, he doesn't have the, the, the knowledge. But the Torah says that the people who are partakers in the salvation here of preparation for the salvation for the house of Israel are the people who have both. They both are skillful and they have the love and they have their, their heart to be able to do it. Now, the Torah is uh, describing to us all the things that they have, have done, including, by the way, the Hoshen. 
the horse and the breastplates with those 12 stones. So if the people are the one who dressed Aaron, it means that if they have done a bad job in dressing Aaron, God forbid, then Aaron would not be holy. It is us who sanctify our leaders. The Torah comes to teach us an important principle. It is us who have to say to our leaders, Baruch haba b'shem Adonai, in order for them to be holy. When will Yeshua return? When we dress him in the right garment. Interestingly enough, in this Torah portion, we read about the establishment of Choshen. The breastplate, the Hebrew word Choshen, equivalent for 358, just like the word Mashiach, also equivalent for 358. Here's the option, beloved. Aaron was the Messiah for the people, but he could not be the Messiah of the people until he got dressed properly. And that's the job of the people to prepare their leaders. As we are expecting the Messiah coming. We today have to dress him in the proper garment. So there is interdependency between us and Messiah and Messiah and us. He needs us and we need him equally. This is the Rega Be'evrit for this week. Let us dress our Aaron, our Mashiach in the proper garment. Shalom everyone.